Hi, my name is Hinden Nee. I am an artist in Charlotte and um, I am a former artist in residence of McCall. Today I will be teaching you how to find a composition through doodling. Today you will need paper or paper in a sketchbook, pencil, a pen, either one, and maybe some colored pencils, whatever you choose for a writing utensil. I love to doodle because it is absent-minded and sometimes it actually helps me express exactly what's on my mind. Sometimes I work with a theme or a word when doodling and here's an example from the word nexus. The word nexus is a connected group or series, um, a central and most important point or place and it's a, um, the connection or linking of two or more things. So. Um, when I'm doodling, I kind of go with what I think the word means to me and my relation to the word. And I thought about um, a community growing together um, and the words that represent growth to me. And I drew two people um, and like a connection between both of them. And behind it was like, the sun. Oh, and then there were some water elements and uh, sky elements. So then as I go, as I, after the doodle, I usually take um, it and try to form a composition. And this is the composition I got from the doodles. And the final was actually this, which is a mural. And it started off with the doodle from the word nexus. So today we're going to do a doodle exercise while listening to music. Usually listening to music helps me not think about things and just flow with the rhythm. Um, so I will be playing a song for two minutes and you can put on headphones and listen to whatever you are in the mood, to, a mood for today. So uh, get your pen or pencil ready and um, we're gonna just flow with this royalty free jam. <coughs> The best part about doodling is that you don't have to be good at all. Um, you just kind of go with the flow and whatever comes to mind is what you jot on paper. I drew my breakfast. Uh, I couldn't draw my robe, but I drew my slippers, my house slippers, me dropping an egg on the floor and then trying to pick it up with a spatula. Uh, it's really like, 
forecast today, so I drew that. And I um, drew the sun. I didn't know what the sun was gonna say, so then I just made a face. I mean, I don't think you need to be able to explain your doodles, but this is what came to mind while I thought about my morning. Now, I hope that that got you loose and let's try to doodle around a word that I chose for today. Uh, the word I chose today is race and um, race has so many different meanings. It is both a noun and a verb and I wanna see what you can create around the word race. So let's start and um, let's spend five minutes doodling. Um, I'm gonna speak aloud uh, on what I think while drawing. So when I think about race, I obviously think about different kinds of races. So um, one way I can do that is drawing different kinds of people. I also think about racing, like time is racing. And while doodling, uh, doing that kind of made me think about like adding a clock with legs that's kind of like it's running in a race i actually really like that let me try to make that better Um, when I think about the word race, I think about like NASCAR and in my work, I love drawing checkers. It's a pattern of uh, checkers. And that makes me think of a, a finish line. And a racetrack. A winding race racetrack like Mario. And the best part about doodling is now this no longer looks like a racetrack, and I've just made like a cool pattern that I wouldn't have thought of otherwise if I didn't think of the word racetrack. Hmm. What's another thing that comes up when we think about race? Is racing through time, culture, um, NASCAR. Uh, 
cars, I guess. <laughs> I wish I could draw a fancier car, like an NSX. I'll just put NSX. There you go. All right, five minutes is up, and this is what I got while thinking of the word phrase. With our doodles that we created in five minutes around the word race, let's, um, let's work on a quick composition. I like to tell some sort of story through painting, although you can take a different route. Um, usually my work is a bit more uh, chaotic and I, and I know a lot of people like taking a more minimal route, so you can today. I'm gonna to draw a, like, Let's say 11 by 14 is where I want to make the final composition of this. And just like doodling, this does not have to be neat at all. Uh, you're just trying to work out a composition through what you've made. So, um, let's see, I'm thinking of, for the first one, more of a collage. Bringing in a focal point with the clock. And, and then putting the flag behind the clock and creating that racetrack um, texture in the background. Something kind of groovy like this. Let's start on another composition. Or that's the first composition. Uh, let's start on another one. Probably doing the finish line with the with the racetrack coming through. So I did this because I kind of like how this is going um, all across the page from left to right. And when I do that, I kind of then want to create a scenery. Maybe I'll do some clouds, sun, uh, grass, maybe someone sitting in the grass or watching the car, cheering them on maybe. And so a car coming through, winning the race.
And let's do one last compilation from our doodles. I kind of like the texture of this, or I kind of like the checkered pattern. So maybe we can draw different faces. All right, so these are the three compositions from just five minutes of doodling. So, uh, I want to create one final doodle for what I want to do. Um, I'm going to create one final doodle from choosing one of these three. And what I think relates a lot more to my work is this one. Um, because it's like a scenery. And I can show you an example of things I've done. I'm going to choose this middle composition to work on a final kind of cleaner composition. I'm going to draw group of friends in a top down.
Uh, they're winning the race. And also with um, creating this final composition, it does not have to be perfect. You're just trying to, um, you're just trying to find where, and you're just trying to make a reference um, image for when you make your final painting or final whatever you're creating. We'll draw a, an audience in the background sharing your moment. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's the final composition. Usually my work shows the um, power of female friendship. And that also is inclusive to all types of races um, and any and every type of woman. So after creating a composition, you can then um, start planning out colors for your painting or sculpture. Um, I wanted to share an example of my process doing that. That is a rough sketch of a composition from that I took from doodles and then I started to choose a color palette planning before a painting So after creating the composition and creating colors and choosing col a color palette, I then made the, I then created the painting. Thank ya. So thank you for doodling with me. Um, I hope that it helped you 
get loose. So as creating, maybe you can make it a daily practice and also to, uh, to get some cre creativity flowing. Um, you can find me on my website, www.hninnie.com, H-N-I-N-N-I-E. Um, I have an online shop in there as well. And I hope that you stay creative and keep creating during 2021. Thank you.